Hi and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course and in this module we're going to be looking at the Long Text Viewer. This visual is a pretty simple one. In essence what it does is it displays text from a data set that you have. So if you have a large amount of text, maybe like a description of a product in your data set, this is a good way to be able to visualize that information is through the Long Text Viewer. You can actually take multiple rows of text that you have and it will allow you to display all of those rows of text one right after another. That's actually what you're seeing on the right hand side is you're seeing one, two, three, four, five different rows of data and there's actually more because you can see a scroll bar there on the right hand side and you're able, able to visualize that text in a way that's easy to consume and there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of customize it to make it easy to view. So this is going to be a pretty quick one to show. A couple things to note, you can do things like word wrapping uh, is automatically enabled. You can do vertical and center alignments in here. And so it makes it pretty easy to be able to show text if you have the need to do so. So let's go ahead and walk through how you can go download the long text viewer and then how you can get to use it. All right, so our first step here is to go to the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery. You can go there by going to visuals.powerbi.com. And as you scroll down, you're gonna be looking for the long text viewer, which you'll find right here. So go ahead and select the long text viewer and select that you want to download it. There are some samples out here, but I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. You don't have to go into a bunch of samples to figure out how to use this one. All right, so I'll close this out and we're gonna go ahead and open up my instance of Power BI Desktop, which I have right here. And what we're gonna be able to visualize today is a poem. So I thought we'd have a little fun here and visualize a poem about technology. So our first step to do is to go find our data that has text in it. So I'll go up to the Get Data section here and select Excel. And I'm gonna pick the poetry Excel spreadsheet or Excel workbook that I have here that you should also have available to you. And then I'll hit open. Once I've selected that, I'll go ahead and select the column, or really the spreadsheet name here called More Than Machines. One of the things you'll notice here is that I do have a row number in here and there's some reasons for that. Having the row number actually helps in sorting the values properly because by default, it's gonna sort it alphabetically which isn't necessarily the order you wanna sort it in. So having that in here actually is very helpful for sorting purposes. All right, so I wanna go ahead and hit load to load this data into our data model. And once it's loaded into our data model, we can go ahead and bring in and import in the long text viewer by going over to the visualization section here and selecting import from file. I'll select import a custom visual and then hit import once more. We'll then go find our custom visual here. Let me go find the right folder. And I'm going to go find the custom visual that we have in here called the long text viewer right here and then hit open. You should have downloaded that already ahead of time. You can store all those custom visuals in the same location. It makes it very easy to find later. All right, so I'm going to select the long text viewer here, make it take up a little bit extra space here, and then I'll start to place my data in it. Now, if I place the poem column in here, oop, let me select the visual again. If I select in the visual and add the poem column to my category field, which is the only field I have available, you'll see that it does bring in the information from the poem, but again, like I said a few moments ago, it's sorting it alphabetically, which probably isn't what you wanna do. So what you'll likely need to do is when you import this data is tell it that you wanna sort the, in my case, poem column by my row ID. So remember I told you I have that row ID in there so that way I can sort the rows properly. To do that, you'll select the poem column. You'll go up to the ribbon, the modeling ribbon up at the very top, and you'll find the feature here, the setting called sort by column, and you're basically gonna tell it you wanna sort one column by another column. And you can do that by selecting sort by column and tell it you wanna sort, instead of sorting poem by poem, we wanna sort poem by the row ID. And when we do that, you can see it has an immediate change and you can see it much easier what the data should look like. So here we're seeing the name of the poem, More Than Machines, and then you can kind of see a uh, explanation of the poem here and the, uh, the actual author on the bottom as well. We did attribute it here at least. But now we've got the data in here, we can visualize it. So this could be, I'm showing a poem here, but this could be product information, really kind of any long text descriptions maybe that you have will be useful for uh, uh, this uh, visual, will be useful for showing that kind of data. All right, so let's go ahead and go and show you what you can do in the format section. If I go to the format paintbrush section, you can see there's not a whole lot here. Most of these items are in every one of the visuals that are available. But if you look underneath the text section here, you can see there are a few things that you can change. So for example, you can change the text color. You can make it like an orange or peach if you wanted to. I'm gonna revert that back, make it black. You could also change the text size. So maybe I wanna make this a 12 point font so I can see everything on the uh, design surface here. You can also turn on or off the scrollable nature of it. So if I move the te text size back to where it was for a moment, 
You can see there is a scroll bar here by default, but you can turn that off if you don't want them to scroll. So that's what that does. Let's put the font back. You can also change the vertical or horizontal alignment. So right now it's aligned top as far as vertical alignment, but I could tell it that I want to align it middle. And when you align it middle, that should actually shift the item down here some. I think that just needs to be kind of adjusted here. You can also do horizontal alignment, so I can tell it I want to center horizontally, so it take, goes to the middle of the screen here. And then you can do some other things in here. There's a few other basic functions that you can do where I can do things like, if you look down here a little bit more, you can do some basic text transforms. So right now it's just displaying the data as it appeared in the data set, but I can also come in here and I can tell it that I want to uppercase everything, or maybe I want to lowercase everything, or maybe I want to have proper casing for every word. So you can go in here and you can actually make some text transformations in the visual itself. You can also, of course, change the font. If you type in something different here for the font, I can do something like uh, Times New Roman, and it'll adjust the font based on the change you made. I'm going to go back and revert this back to you, Arial. There's a few other things in here, like you can adjust the margin, so the margin before a line or the margin after a line. So if you want to increase the margins, you can certainly do that. That adjusts the margin up at the top here. You can also adjust the margin after. So if I make an adjustment here, it's going to make an extra margin after each line that we have, not before. Lastly, you can actually tell it when you want to create a new line. So if you had a lot of text, maybe you had some HTML in here, and there's kind of a line break or some kind of information that tells you when you want to have a line break, you can actually identify what that line break text looks like here underneath this new line starts section. And if you tell it the new line starts with, let's say, a period, you can see that it automatically creates a new line. And you can see Sandra M, the period is now gone, and it put the last name of the author on the next line. So that gives you the ability to actually have some kind of line feed or go to the next line whenever you see this particular character. So it's kind of a nice little feature there that you can do. But again, this is a pretty simple visual. It's nice in that you can be able to visualize text fairly simple. The simple nature here, there's not a whole lot of things you'll pass into the category section here. Very simple visual, but that's really it for this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, even though it's short and sweet. And I look forward to showing you what we have in our next module.